What's up everybody? So, why I recommend people don't have kids in today's life. It's pretty obvious, but I'll get into it. <laughs> Number one, all we do is want to compete. You know, I've said this many times. Parents are currently having a kid, right? The mother's pregnant, the baby's in the stomach, not born yet. All of a sudden, you know, we already have his life planned out or her life, whether it's a male or female. We already have his or her life planned out on what they're gonna do possibly without them even being aware of anything yet, you know? Well, you're gonna put your son in and go, oh hell yeah, I'm gonna put my son in Catholic school. Oh, he's gonna go to a real good school. He's gonna get the real good proper education. Like, just already starts just like that. Like, with the competing and with the showing off and the, you know. It's like no matter what situation life throws at us, we won't ever be smart and make that right decision. But just keep producing, keep making that wheel spin and never end, you know. That's basically what we're doing. We have no common sense. We see how hard life's getting, see how expensive everything is. And that's another thing, you know, there's some parents that are financially unstable and yet they don't think they still wanna, you know, bring a kid into this world and what ends up happening? The kid ends up suffering because the kid's poor because the stupid parents are poor, you know? And why I call the parents stupid because you see you're in a bad situation, yet bring another poor soul so he suffers into the situation. So now he's gotta have it rough. He's gotta try and get it, get by somehow or possibly just be homeless and not be able to eat because of paper and all the, you know, all the chaos. They don't think people, they just plug it in, you know? They just want that pleasureness. Nine months later, here I come. Now I'm screwed because you guys didn't have a plan or nothing. You just went straight to it. Here I come. Now I'm dumped into this mess, basically, is what I put that as. You are. You're dumped into this mess. Another thing I can't stand, when parents don't help their kids. Figure it out yourself, you know. You got to survive, you know. You know, you brought me here just to do your dirty work. That's how I put it as. Instead of making life easier for your son or daughter, you're putting the stress over their shoulder. You're taking sort of the stress away from your shoulder because you already did your share in sheepness into this world, you know? <laughs> now, okay, son, it's your turn. Okay, Brandon, you get your ass up. You gotta get to school, man, get that education. So one day you be like your pops, make some money, man. Yeah, you know, you wanna, you wanna be a you know, successful young man, you know? Or mother. Come on, Cynthia, it's time for school. I want you to get the education so we're going to be a nurse one day. I want you to get the proper education and knowledge so I can show off to everybody and show what you do. Yeah, she's a nurse, yo. <laughs> oh, my God. This is basically what parents look for. These are, th these are what parents strive, and this is why they want to have kids. For that reason. For that reason. They don't care if the kid's happy or not happy. They want to be happy, the parents. They want the kid to make the parents happy. And what if the kid's not happy? Doesn't matter, as long as we're happy. I'm the father, for example, I'm happy. That's all that matters, so I can brag to everyone else. Toxic, very toxic. Parents are self-centered. They only care for themselves, you know? And another thing I can't stand when, you know, a kid wants a certain thing. Oh, I'm sorry, man, we don't, we don't have money or whatever. So, you know, this is when I say we're not prepared. You, you don't have money, you're not financially stable, yet you have a kid, you know kids are gonna wanna have things. Toys, nice things, whatever the scenario is. And what are you gonna say to them, you can't do it? Why'd you fucking have me then? If you can't be a father and make me have a magic world before I know what the real world's about. <laughs> this ain't a magic fucking world, you know, but while we're still manipulated as a five-year-old thinking that life's good, I want cotton candy. You know, make it a magical world for him until he realizes the world's fucked up. But you can't even do that in your part. So what kind of father or mother are you people? Basically what I'm basically trying to say, you know what I'm saying? Like, the thing, people don't think, man. We just plug it in, they get, I'm gonna, I'm not trying to sound stupid, but it's the truth. People get fucking horny, plug it in, don't wear protection or 
she's not on birth control, whatever the scenario is. And then boom, here we go. Half the time, the kids aren't even planned. It's an accident. It just happens. And even if it is planned, it's still, it's still selfish because you're bringing another poor soul into this world. Now, I'm not saying don't have kids. I mean, I, basically, I am saying that, but I'm not demanding. I'm not, I can't force people. What can I do? But what I am basically really saying is, if you're financially unstable, don't have a kid. That's for fucking sure. You got to be a real asshole to do that. That, I'm just being straightly honest. I'm not trying to be a smart ass. It's just the truth. But, uh, I mean, I just, in general, I just, I don't see it. I just don't see how people want to have kids in today's world. I just don't. I don't. How do you want, and, and, and no less people want more than one of them. Just one's expensive. Imagine you wanted another three, four kids. And you're bringing all these sheeps into the world. All these poor souls. This is why the wheel keeps spinning, man. That wheel's never going to stop spinning. Sadly. Because we won't stop producing. Our holes down below won't stop shooting out that clear stuff, you know? Another thing I can't stand about parents. When they belittle their children. Oh, uh, you stupid ass, you're a waste of life. Look at everyone else's kid doing this, look at that. You know, like for example, your, your, your girlfriend's a nurse. What, what are you doing? You, you're not doing shit. You're relying on your boyfriend to do everything for you. Like, I'm just making something up, you know? This goes to show you, and I feel like saying the parents that say that, why did you have me? I didn't ask to be here. Blame yourself. That's the thing. Parents right away think, right away the kid's going to turn out good. It's going to turn out the way they imagine they'll turn out. But meanwhile, that's not the case. The kid could come out, you know, with Down syndrome, you know. He could be autistic. He could be born maybe missing a, a, a hand, or like, you know, like a leg. Or, so you, you don't know, you know. Right? These are the things we don't think about. We already think about the positive things. Which, hey, I understand. You want everything to be well. But that's not always going to be the case. Man, and you belittle your son or daughter because they have, let's say, some kind of condition. That part right there is a big no-no. Because right there, I feel like saying, why did you have a kid? Why did you have me in the first place? I ain't asked to be here. No one has to be here. You know, I am who I am. That's basically how I look at it. We're all who we are. And if people can't accept that, right here. It's the truth. Don't ever try and pretend to be somebody you're not. You're yourself. Whoever you are is who you are. If people can't accept that, then they can go F themselves. I'm sorry. It's the truth. If people respect who you are, then that's what matters. If people don't respect who you are, then they can go, you know, hit the eject button. Get the fuck out of my life. You know, that's basically the same thing with parents. Certain things that kids don't agree on or whatever, and the parents get all mad and shit. We're all each other. We all have our own feelings. We all have our own thoughts on things. We all have our own opinions on things. And that's the thing. Certain things right there say, like, you know how we all have our own opinions, and certain things we all got to agree to this. I like this, so why don't you fucking like it? You got a problem? Why don't you like it? I like this, so. You need to work, man. You need to get really. We're all unique in our own way, but the system tries to take that away. Instead, what the system does is program us all into doing one thing, making the money. You know, we're all on that sheep path. <laughs> you know, it's literally us. To the point where we're all just literally got the same mindset when really we don't, but that's what they're trying to do to us. Including parents, toxic parents, just parents in fucking general. If I seen life getting easier, money wasn't a thing, or if we had like some kind of artificial intelligence doing more for us where we could actually like live and enjoy life the right fucking way now that we have technology, then maybe I could sort of understand having a kid. But to just bring kids to how I look at it as you're just bringing kids in this world to do your dirty work. That's basically why we want kids, because we know one day we're going to get old and elderly, and then that's when I can rely on my son or daughter to take care of me. And how selfish is that? Then eventually you're going to die, and then he or she's got to suffer that and be miserable and be hurt because of that. So it's like, all I feel like parents are doing is just bringing a headache onto their kids.
It's what they're doing. If you don't agree with what I'm saying, I, that's perfectly fine, but that's how I look at it as. Am I saying this is a fact? It kind of is, but I mean, this isn't really my opinion, but people just, parents just bring kids to do their dirty work. All right, I did my share. It's your turn now. Come on, get up. Get up, son. Time to go to school. Come on. I'm not going to say it again. Get up. If you do that again, you're grounded. That's all we do. Put hell onto our kids. Put torment on our kids. We want to feel empowered. We want to feel like we're in charge. You know, I don't know. I just don't know, man. That's what it's all actually about, too. We, we want to feel in charge. It makes us feel good telling someone what to do. We want the government's telling your asses what to do. And us assholes are listening because we have no choice. You know? So now you're prepping your son or daughter to do the same thing. You know how corrupt the government is. You know how corrupt this whole system is. Why have a kid when it's going to benefit the government? They're going to be their money puppets. The new generation money puppets is what I call it. You're bringing them in. They're going to refuel the wheel. The wheel's losing the fuel. Oh shit, it's slowing down. Wait, wait, hold on. I'm going to have a kid. It's a boy. All right. It's spinning again, man. Fueled up. Ah, man. Yeah, that's just it's basically what it is, man. Basically what it is. You just keep refueling society, refueling the corrupt rat race by having kids. Eventually you're going to die off, but there's no need to worry. Don't worry, government. I have a son or a daughter that's going to take my place, so you guys will be perfectly fine. You know, we're gonna we're gonna keep making your mother, yo yo asses rich. We're gonna keep taking taxes off our checks to give to them, like they really need it. They created it. They created the paper in the first place. They just want to feel empowered. This whole system means absolutely nothing. They just want to feel empowered. This is that's why just, the whole thing's the way it is. Whatever we make, you always got to get taxed to them. If we win the lottery, it's got to get a little bit taxed to them. We win 5K a week for life, let's say. We're probably getting like, who knows, 2,000 a week for life. Three, I have no idea. It's always a tax, tax, tax. So like I said, we'll just keep refueling the, the, the economy like that. I keep reproducing. Instead of ending this shit once and for all. You know? Call me crazy, but that's how I look at it as. Anyway, guys, I think I'm going to wrap it there. Like I always say when it comes to the end of the video, I think I'm going to wrap it there. But uh, all I can say is, man, be smart. Don't. What do you, why do you want to bring another kid into this world? You see how life is. You see how everything's expensive. You see all the crimes going up. You, you, it's like it's just it's sick. It's a sick, sick world, man. People are sick. People are killing each other over stupid things, over sports, over politics, whatever. You like this? Oh, you. Uh, feel, let's say you're a Yankee fan or some or a Met fan. Let's say let, uh, me, I, I don't really care. I don't really care. I'm not. I'm not neither. I don't really care for sports. But you know, let's just say I'm a I'm a Yankee fan. Some person to get all crazy and, and and literally beat the shit out of me, possibly shoot me because I like the Yankees instead of the Mets or whatever. I mean, this is the world we're living, and this is the world you're gonna bring a future kid in. You know, so I say to myself, think twice, have some knowledge, man. Anyway, now I think I'm done there. I think my phone's about to overheat. It's in the sun. But, uh, yeah, stay safe out there, guys. And uh, love you all, man. Take it easy. All kidding aside, man. Shit. <laughs>